yeah so hello subscribers you are welcome again to my channel so in today's video i would love us to go into uh some podcasts and connect dots i want us to go into the podcast into this podcast which is dapo wheels dapo wheels podcast so i want us to go into this podcast you might know dapo williams or if you don't know him in this podcast you will know him he's a very uh successful trader so into this podcast i want us to go and listen to what he has to say and we'll pick two points from what he have to say and we'll run with this point so what does it mean to run with a point so what does it mean to run with a point so what i mean by running with a point is using it to work what you have heard from him what you have heard from what he's saying we'll pick two out of it and we'll apply that to into our journey to make our journey easy and have an edge and have an edge towards whatever we are doing so in the previous one it wasn't with that always it was with someone else so he was talking about uh he was talking about having something that will generate income before going into trading i picked that which is he also lists the second point is he lists things we can do online to generate income so we can put it into trading so he lists youtube video which i'm making now i'm running with the point uh, he lists affiliate marketing you can also do that many of it which he lists you can check out the video to know what he have list and you can also pick out something from that so you can use it to work you can apply it to your life so in this video we are going to listen to the police and we'll pick out two points just two points and we'll go with the two points to know what he's saying so guys let's go into the video all of you are trading memory you will blow your mind so nf is even today <laughs> So, NFPs today, right? Yeah. <laughs> All of you are gathered in your mentor's classroom. <laughs> no worry, you know what is waiting for you, but that's fine. Um, so, NFP, I, I, I had sat down and I'd seen new Instagram had just launched. Yeah. Then, at, at Blackberry, I get, so I used to use my auntie's iPad to observe what was happening on Instagram. Oh. There was a group of Malaysian traders in Malaysia called the RCFX group. So, if you're watching this right now, just hashtag RCFX you, so that you know what I'm saying is legit. Yeah. You, you, take, you will see even the filters, all filters, yeah. a group of boys. All of what is happening now with the fancy cars happened along is nothing is new in Forex. Yeah. I used to see a group of people in the classroom, they will be like, okay, a sell la, because there are different languages, like, sell la, <laughs> buy this, this one. That. Everybody will trade, blah, bam. They were trading the news. Said okay, so I started to listen. Listen that this news trading that makes sense. Now it makes sense. Pass. I said okay, no problem. We we'll go investigate <laughs> this news trading. So I looked at the news trading, you know, and I was like, okay, um, okay, what's this news trading thing about? So they said NFP is the most volatile. Now that one thing yeah. pass. I said okay, um, so what? I, I was privileged to a strategy on NFP at the time, whereby. So NFP comes out by 1.30. So by 1.29, yeah. the market goes very quiet. So the idea was you set your buy order 10 pips above, you come to a one minute tick chart. Oh. I know people are still going to try this chart. <laughs> 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 Let's be careful. Let's be careful though. So this is the one minute tick chart. So you put your, your, your buy order 10 pips above, oh, okay. and you put your sell order 10 pips below. Hello. Meaning that if the news is good, you will pick your bag if the news is bad. For one particular Friday now, I don't... Please don't go and try to be careful. Be afraid that you're all risky. <laughs> so one particular Friday, I don't call my cousin, say... It did happen. See? Call me by exactly 2 o'clock We have made and dash you money. <laughs> I told everybody the delivery. So that day was me, my grandmother, and my auntie, yeah. and family. So I was just chilling, just looking at the time. Let's check my laptop. Today, today. Today is the, <laughs> you know, and I had some small money that I had um, gotten from my inheritance. So what Dapo Ways is saying here is talking about the NF NFP. Those of you that used to trade NFP with your, <laughs> with your small capital. So he's talking about NFP right now. So you can hear his story about NFP, how NFP, what NFP have done. So if you don't, if you don't know how to trade news or it's not favoring you. You have to leave it. So you do what favors you. You just follow your edge. It's like eight hundred dollars one key. You understand? So I put it in my trading account, and yes, I put it. Entry buy buy entry mm. buy. What is it? Pending order buy stop. Buy, stop. buy them stop. sell all those things. I don't put them up. Put the sell down. It's okay. NFP. Let's came watch. Up. So everybody was in the pilot. They were watching TV. So I just did. Mm. 
Now for the for the trade, did you put stop loss or I didn't put any stop loss because you don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Stand at that at that time you're also very <laughs> young. You don't really. You're just like. Oh. And I broke that. I said, see, if I catch hundred pips every NFP Friday of month, that means I will double eight hundred to one six one six to three two. I had done a mm. projection of into millions of dollars if I just treat NFP. In fact, I said I'm not learning anything about forex. <laughs> oh, what you did plan? I plan bust. <laughs> <laughs> I don't plan if my future was solid on NFP. This one, this one, I'm only high stuff. Mm. <laughs> you don't know. Professor, that's why when I see all of them, I just laugh. See, we don't do this thing. I say it's okay. You have to. There's some things you need to yeah. try in forex for you to learn. Yeah. So, anyways, I now. Um, Put the buy order and sell stop and everything and if you come out the market first didn't move ah <laughs> you think they are it did like this the market did like this it did like this ah <laughs> next thing the market went it took my buy order now what a lot of traders don't understand is <clears throat> because of the amount of trading activity that is going on at that time right. brokers don't fill in your order as where, the, where where you put your order yeah the spread increases by by like almost 13 pips it's huge and the brokers are aware yeah, right. now that i'm an industry participant not just a trader and i see what's happening on the back end these niggas are criminals bro. yeah they know they widen the spread so you are taking me for a buy order far from my horrible oh, mr <laughs> And then it had now dropped down and taking my sell order far away from the sell order mm. before you know Margin call equity this one for you know zero. You broke you know that sound on empty phone. <laughs> yes man. <laughs> Kata, you were liquidity gone in liquid. Oh yeah? what's happening? So I now quickly pop up. My eight hundred has gone from eight hundred to like one eighty dollars. There. Oh no. In the returns don't go <laughs> like family members why the put down the drink. A useless child in tea. That was like Erita's God, you know. And yeah, I told you. True. Did we tell you? Told you. No, bring the one even Apollo. So I didn't say anything. I pressed. Better your thing. I pressed. I said, okay, you know what? Well, I was watching. Uh, I was watching it. So they were looking at me like, how is everything going? I said, no, it's okay. Like, what? <laughs> like that. Really? Well, I'm not going to just fluctuate. I'm not going to leave out. You know, so. After that, I just said, mm, okay, that, that's it. Or so they're like, oh, how's everything? I said, it's fine. Let me just go on because I need to just freshen up and everything. I want to go out and all that. I just went upstairs. I just lay down on my bed. Eh? I just first slept. <laughs> Maybe to be a dream. Yes. Ah. My grandmother now had to send my auntie. Yeah. Please. Hey, that Four hours. I hope it's that's when that's something to speculate. <laughs> yeah, Maybe the train did not go well. So my auntie came into the room. How's everything? I stayed from. Say, how was your trade? I said, go, 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 go. You know, so that was my, you know, first entrance into Forex. Those are the first set of lessons that I learned. Yeah. You know, it was, it was a crazy experience. So that's how I know without any doubt. And I speak to you without any iota of doubt news trading is not sustainable at the new this news trading will not work now he was left with indicator and even in how long did you spend in unprofitability before it eventually clicked you say you've been trading for um 14 13 years now 13 years. so how many years did you spend in unprofitability before you started becoming profitable and what's what clicked so yeah we are going to get our second point from this video what really clicked this guy is asking him right now he do what did he see what did he hear that really clicked for him so dapo wills now is going to tell us what he did what he avoided and what he went for so let's listen to him This is the average journey of a forex trader. Now that I've scaled the hurdles and I'm at a point whereby, you know, I'm quite experienced. So when you come into the game, you have to go through the new trading phase, the indicator phase, the signal group phase, the phase where your, your move 
by fast cars or flashy mentors. It's part of the tool. A lot of people don't even make it past that. But once you can make it past that, so for me, it took me the better part of two and a half to three years. Unfortunately for me, I had time on my side because I so was just seventeen. So it took him like so uh, three, by three, time I was 20, three and a half years. So and something here in this year, which he called, is that it's not for everybody. You know, the year this is for him. This is his storyline. So it's just a storyline of him. You also have your storyline. It is not compulsory that you reach three years, and it's not compulsory that you will not reach three years before you become profitable. You understand? So your own storyline is different. His own is different. All you have to wait and hear is what he have to say of what he did during the year and what he did not do. You know, I now started to understand that there was no way any indicator was going to be on my charts. I didn't give a rat's ass about NFP Friday and in fact the flashier your car the more i don't want to listen to you yeah so even on my social media now we've had to now separate the forex channel from the lifestyle channel my my brand manager is here shalom he says she'll tell you that i tell them education first so now we haven't even put out any keeping up with daps content because as i flew to nigeria i told them, i told shalom let's go back to the basics let's let's educate people we were getting a bit too carried away with I bought a new S class for two hundred fifty thousand dollars. We're posting it everywhere. Everything was private and all that. I told her, hey, "Let's relax." We're getting a bit too carried away. That's not why. That was not the primary. That for Willis followers like him because he is an authentic top-down analysis trader. trader. You know. So back to what, what what your question. You know, I knew I wasn't really going to listen to anybody that had flashy cars. I needed to see your charts. Show me your charts. Brain. Yes, I need to see your chart. And I also was not buying screenshots. You no know, indicators, no signals, no um, news trading, and stay away from mentors with the flashier. If their primary brand is about their lifestyle and their flashy thing, it's no, it's bait. I'm sorry, I know what the industry is right now. This interview is going to ruffle up feather, <laughs> but you know, I never really care that much about you know it's just the truth about the game so the flashier your car is the more as i'm not saying that you know it's the bad thing for mentors to have flashy cars obviously you need to be able to show traders the outcome of what they are learning you can do that and all that that's fine do go ahead and do what you're doing i'm just saying personally i was i didn't really have a good experience with that until i now started to watch youtube videos that were just pure chat chat that was where and if you go on my youtube channel 99 percent of the content there is pure i am breaking it down key levels top down analysis higher highs higher lows elliot wave this is how you count it like this yeah. if you want any lifestyle to motivate you click the link down below and check the lifestyle channel so that they could focus um i think i'm giving that away most traders <laughs> might not start it. if anybody opens two channels you just know they are talking up for willings <laughs> you know so you know i started to put my head down so that was the better part of three years once you start to shy away from things that uh get money rich quick yeah. in forex you now start to gravitate to okay what is get more get rich slow yeah. techniques so then you start to learn concepts like fibonacci you see the fibonacci tool game changer i discovered that for every impulse move yeah. the market is going from here to yeah. here that pullback that carried the market higher was a fibonacci pullback and i now tested all the fibonacci levels i now found out that it was between the 50 and 61.8 that is a golden retracement right there get yeah. him so, so what you it? might be hearing fibonacci and you don't go to ask what it is you have to go anything you don't know what it is you have to go i always tell um, a brother of mine that you said you don't know it and you just say you don't know it you sit for it no you go and look for it you go and know the you go and get you go and know it you go and get it you just can't say you don't know it and you sit so you might be hearing fibonacci and you don't know what it is i have it in my video you can check my video how to plot fibonacci 
you can check it and you can hear him say it now fibonacci was a game changer to him so you have to go check it know it and if you already know it is a game changer for him so you can also apply it to your chart to your game it can also bring up something for you so this is what he's saying here also let's hear him more Do was I would just draw Fibonacci by and all that, and then I now started to realize that hmm, I would win a lot on times, but I was still losing. So then I now started to understand okay, why is my Fibonacci feeling sometimes? Then I now realize that you need to use Fibonacci in the direction of the trend. Then I now move from on the so I kept Fibonacci indicators. And like, what you're it's saying, it's something that's even affecting. It's blur of traders don't question things. No, they, like eventually they will. Yeah. By the time you don't, you blow your school fees two times. Just when you, <laughs> you question, you question like, eventually. So I said, okay, this Fibonacci is working, okay. but I need to find a way to make it even better. Uh, yeah. So I now started to learn about trend analysis. Um, that's when I now understood the concept of the top down analysis, whereby I go from the monthly. So the monthly gives me the overall view of the market. And then I go on the weekly to see, okay, is there any chart patterns that are forming? Is there any double tops or double bottom that might not allow this trend flow? Yeah. So once I can identify the monthly and weekly are flowing in a particular direction, I then come on the daily to now look for the immediate trend within the overall trend. So what this means is monthly and weekly, you can't trade on them. Yeah. It's, it's not you. It, it just gives you the best high view to see best everything. Eye view of everything so i can see just like the google map of Lagos. yeah as i was coming here we looked at the map you and know knew where you are and where you are going exactly so we looked at the map and there's this, this traffic on the koi bridge from lekki to this thing so my escort driver was already aware that we are going to go into the koi bridge and we're going to divide the road, the road. <laughs> and they were, so he was as far as we got to the video we go on the siren straight so we knew where there was traffic and so same thing with the monthly and the weekly time frame as well yeah. so i do my market analysis on the monthly and the weekly so it's pointing let's say it's pointing south for example now as i'm recording this interview AUD usd has shown me that it wants to do a reversal to the upside and i identify this on the monthly and weekly okay. i'll then come on the daily and then identify the immediate trend, trend. within the overall right. because it is the daily trend you can actually trade yeah the pullbacks make sense to you yeah because the peeps count and all that that's something your small account and like more so can you can hear the second you point here yeah, which can made from pinpoint this, the pull what's really clicked for him we can definitely take this two point and use it and apply it to our chart apply it to our works so he said the top-down analysis so I wrote it down. The monthly, he starts from the monthly. What does the monthly do for him? The monthly is to check the overall trend of the market. So after he knows the overall trend of the market now, he comes to the weekly. If there is any pattern that is formed, that is why he comes to the weekly because he can't trade from the monthly and he can't trade from the weekly if there's any pattern form. So he now comes to the daily. The daily is showing him the immediate trend of the market, the, what is currently happening in the market that then he sees that yes this is where he can trade from you can see and he's giving an analogy of the map of lagos how it is and how you can get it that is the analogy he gave us how you can see everything the map how, where you are going then you zoom in you zoom in to know this uh, direction to take so that's the analogy he's giving here so with this we can add it to our chart fibonacci and the top-down analysis try it out try it out he worked for him these tools have worked for him so it will always also work for you and i'm also going to try it out i'm going to apply it to my chart also so let's hear what you have to say for some minutes then we call it a buy for the video Backs, yeah. you get what I mean. So then I can now come on the daily and then scale down to the four hour, make it even. So I'm like, okay, well, AUD USD wants to go up. I can now identify entries. I use Fibonacci and then swing low to swing high. I can now use my candle, okay, bullish engulfing can jump from here off the Fibonacci. I actually called it the Willy Zone. So, those of you guys who are watching, the Willy Zone is nothing more of a more than the confluence zone 
whereby support Fibonacci and trend line for align. Yeah. So I named it after myself. Dude. Since nobody was going to claim me, I claimed it. It's called the release zone. So that was when my trading started to really change. I